What up, Theo? What up, Nick? This is Daniel from, from Tucson. Tucson. Now, I know Lil Boosie turned down the idea of getting into the casket making business, but I wanted to ask your mortician, what is the most outlandish or extravagant casket you've seen a customer walk out of your store with? You know, did that thing have some spinners on it? Mm -hmm. You know, was it a translucent waterbed hitter? I'd like to hear about it. Anyways, gang, gang. Gang, bro. What'd they put in there? What's the most extravagant casket? You know what I'm saying? Something with some cat toys hanging from the ceiling, or you got, you know, you got something with a little hot tub at one end of it. What's the wildest thing you put somebody in? Well, you be know, honest. Well, well, most of the time, the people that are buying your real upscale caskets are going to buy either a bronze casket or a very fine hardwood, such as, you know, a mahogany that might be, you know, where that wood was imported from Africa. And then, depending upon the finished work that goes into it, because, you know, whether, it, you know, it'd be flat top and, you know, par the finished parquet and everything else, that's, that's a very expensive casket. And then also, you know, they've got some that are, 48 ounce bronze, mm -hmm. you know, and kind of look like they've kind of, they almost look gold almost, you know, and you can see like some of the celebrities have been buried in, you know, some of those like, um, I'm thinking of Michael Jackson and, you know, I think, um, let's see, Whitney Houston, I think was in a, um, was in like a millennium that, that Bates will makes. Mm. And so, you know, they, some places will use that as a selling point, you know, because the casket companies used to furnish a list basically every year, every couple years of recent celebrities and what caskets that they used. Really? Uh huh. And what happened to that list? You think? Uh, I think that, you know, as they've, as things have come, come on, they've just quit publishing it. Mm. But, you know, for instance, there used, there's a company, it's now owned by Batesville Casket Company, but it used to be called Marcellus Casket Company. And they made the finest hardwood caskets in the world. And Oh yeah, amen. And so what they would do is they would make um, they would make these caskets and one of them was called the President and the other is called the President Carve Top. And the difference between them is the one that's the carve top, it has a lot of carvings on it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, JFK and, you know, a lot of those presidents were buried in those two different caskets. Mm -hmm. And so it was called the president carve top and the president. Now, when Ronald Reagan died, he was put in a Marcellus and it was called the masterpiece. Mm. And the reason they called that the masterpiece was well, that because it was, had barbecue sauce in it. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that casket was so big that it would not fit in a standard burial vault. And so, you know, of course, Ronald Reagan was put in a mausoleum that was designed to where it would f accommodate that casket. Mm. But, you know, that's that's a little bit larger casket than your standard casket. And so, you know, that's, that's pro you know, you see that. You know, we sell some mahogany caskets. And if we've got somebody that's going to spend a lot of money, most of the time they buy a mahogany casket. Wow. Because the look of mahogany... You know, it looks really good. Oh yeah, and you know that's what oh god that's yeah. what they that's what they want. They like that warmth and the beauty of the wood. Some people find metal, whether it be any type of metal, to be more cold rather than you know warm like woods. So, and how pricey does that get? What's the priciest deal you guys have ever put in the ground, man? <sighs> hmm. Probably, you know, somewhere over 50. Wow. You know. 50K, huh? Man. And do people on average spend more money put burying men or burying women? Probably women. Because a lot of times, um, you know, the, the men will care less. But now, because they will say, you know, because if you think about it, most people are thinking, 
well, you know, of all the sacrifices mama made and, you know, what mama did for you and everything else. And, you know, daddy always said, just put me in a, in a pine bat box or throw me in the ditch or whatever. But mama, I mean, this is mama. Mama took care of you every need. You know, we got to do a little bit better for mama. Yeah. Mama loved you. Yeah. We got to do something for mama. Mama and Jesus always loved you, Theo. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Amen, man. So once you get the body, you got it, you got it embalmed. What do you guys, what other things do you have to do to the body to make it look presentable if you're going uh, open casket? Well, we do their cosmetics. Mm-hmm. And, of course, we'll dress them in the clothes that the family brings. And sometimes that's suit and tie. And sometimes that's overalls and, you know, flannel shirt, whatever the family wants. Can you go full naked or not? Can you go nude if you want? Uh, that's probably, that'd be frowned upon, you know, because, you know, that we wouldn't want to make some people feel bad, you know, if they weren't, you know, as well endowed, you know, if you were full nude and, you know, they'd be like, uh, or it might make them feel better about themselves. You know, I just really don't know. It'd be interesting to get a look at that body fully nude at the end. I think it almost would make it a little bit more like, okay, they're headed, they're part of life than they are. Like it's trying to make them still look alive. But, you know, you think about maybe, Maybe more people have seen you fully nude and more are, would expect that. But mm-hmm. most of the time, you know, they want that image as close to how they can remember that person. So unless, you know, America's used to seeing you fully nude, they probably would much rather see you with clothes on. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, I think. And especially if y'all going to eat after. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of, that's a big thing is, you know, the meal after the funeral. Because, you know, a lot of times either churches will host it or a family member will host it at their house and do you guys get invited to that or no sometimes and a lot of times we'll get invited and if we're not really busy then we'll go but you know sometimes you know right after this funeral we've got another one getting ready to start so we don't have time to hit up all those meals and have you ever accidentally had the had the wrong body in a cat in a closed casket no no because we take we have lots of procedures to make sure you know that we don't do that okay and then especially since you know we're a smaller town you know a lot of times we'll know the person and so it'll be like oh and yeah that's so and so you know so that's randy goes, that's randy so he goes in this casket that's theo he goes in this casket wow so. good evening good afternoon and other times Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay. But the next video you could watch could be way better. What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could. Watch this one. Or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!